Hey everybody, I'm Arkaharu. And uh, this is E-Swift. This is like our, what, fourth take trying this? Yes, yes, we're eventually going to get this video recorded, damn it. I'm still freaked out by his face. <laughs> everything about Lester is wrong. Like, everything. He's got, like, rigor mortis. He also has the world's worst posture. He also should look where he's going when he's reading. No, man. He could, like, run into a seal or some shit. Oh, he would shit. use ice beam. Or a crab. <laughs> oh, we will find out our hate of crabs later in this video. Alligator gal. What the fuck is he reading? That gives him these kind of dreams. Apparently it was bad enough that he systematically broke down on a cargo lift on a dock. <laughs> that just spontaneously combusts. A apparently, according to the story, it was hijacked and sculled by pirates. I but why did it explode? I mean... <laughs> pirates don't usually destroy the ship. Yeah, you mean that's not really pirating, that's just blatant destruction. That's terrorism. <laughs> Why are my arms so tired? You were just swimming, you dick. Because they're connected to your terrible spine. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> I should probably explain this game was requested by a lot of people. First person who requested it was Dr. Kiri. But the general consensus is that I played this game. And it, it's bad. It's uh, horribly I, bad. I'm not even sure. I also bring up that this game at one point in time apparently was $80. And I... Ow. Who would buy this for their children? <laughs> it's like this is a punishment. Like, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure Goof Troop was out at the same time that this game was. And Goof Troop is such of a better game <laughs> that I, I just feel bad for anyone playing this because they could have been possibly been playing Goof Troop. This is very true. Also, I, I played BB's Kids. Oh, did you? Dear God. <laughs> How does uh, some of this shit get green-lighted? I mean, I don't know, like, just look at some Wii games these days, and it's kind of like, somewhat the same process, I guess. Well, the, the Wii, you gotta remember, is mostly like a family-oriented system. With a couple Waggly of really games. violent games for it, but... All in all, it's, it's pretty much kind of a gimmicky system, but it's still fun. I mean, what? How do you incorporate the Wii gimmick into Imagine Babies? Thrust the <laughs> thrust the Wii mode forward repeatedly. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> We're really getting off topic here. Well, Lester just likes to do these little dances before I don't know, possibly scary things. Like why and. <laughs> Where's the crab? <laughs> Let it be known, I did not run away from that crab. The game forces you to run from every enemy you find at least once. I don't know if, if it does it for later. I gave up on this game after the 10 minute mark. There's no way I'm going to be playing this again. Like, I'd hate to see Lester, like, have you, you ever been to the zoo? You know, like... He must shit himself. <laughs> Teacher, can I go home now? Please. He can, he can read adventures about Alligator Gal, but turtles are just too much. That's because Alligator Gal has tits. What kind of what kind of enemies is Alligator Gal? I don't know. Facing off against. Maybe Alligator Gal is the enemy. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be a kick in the dick? I'm sure he'll run away from alligators if we got that far in the game. 
Either that or you'd pop a boner. You'd be too busy thinking of Alligator Gal to be afraid. He has the <laughs> worst stamina with landing. I still look at the one-up icon and <laughs> just go, damn it. <laughs> the turtle's coming back for him. Those turtles are vicious, man. I can't wait till we get to the rock. <laughs> wait till <laughs> That was me hoping that he could do an underhanded grab. I mean, you gotta be pixel perfect. We're talking Kaizo Mario timing here. Pretty much, yeah. You'll see what we mean in a minute. But pissing me <laughs> off right here, he can't survive that fall. You apparently have to land on that rock. I mean, he falls a shocking, I mean, seven feet. Yeah, probably about seven feet, maybe less. Because, I mean, he only he's only about four feet tall. I mean... You know, his, <laughs> uh, his posture reminds me of that nerdy kid in, uh, in middle school that gets poked in the chest repeatedly by the jocks. <laughs> to the point where he he just, his spine just curves backwards to compensate for it. He's just like a master limbo champion, you know? <laughs> he's just got, got the permanent lean... He can't survive that either! How are you supposed to get down there if he can't survive? Like. <laughs> the game designers thought that. Oh, not the crab. Well, you should have two lives by this point. I hope that turtle didn't rape you. <laughs> no. What scares me is there's a weapon box on the top left. You know, don't get me wrong, I think sometime you steal a pirate sword, and I don't even think you can attack people with it. Probably just wiggles it in front of I think it's more of a puzzle tool. There's also an item box on the right. What's less you're going to pick up? A Maltov? Maybe some anti-turtle spray? Lester's biggest fear is turtles. You know, I'm really thinking there might be actual hard enemies. Well, those goddamn uh, seagulls, I think, are pretty bad. Oh, so. God. My hatred for seagulls grows exponentially thanks to this game. Take that, Lester. Dude, yeah, just random jagged rocks, you know, three feet fall into them, die. I mean, I guess that fits his constitution. I really could not figure out what button to hit right there. Really, what I hate the most about this game is that damn rock. And yeah. that jump right there. there. There's no reason for that rock. None, none at all. The game designers could have at least have let you, you know, push it all the way to the edge of the, uh... Who even was the developer of this game? Was this, like... I... I, I don't... I want to say this somehow was a LucasArts-related horror? No, I think it was made by some people got like, DTMC and Visual Arts or something. Oh, man. I don't, I don't know. By this point in the video, my mind's just breaking. I no longer care. This is like about like nine Monster minutes. Day. Well, the people that brought you Tony Hawk's Pro Skater comes Luster the Unlikely. <laughs> Out of all the games that video game developer developers could remake, I will be so pissed if this is the game they decide to remake. <laughs> and here we go. Here's the bird. Doink. <laughs> So it doesn't sound like a damn seagull. It sounds like some kind of hawk. It's a seahawk. And Die like dies by a crab. What is this game? I don't even. <laughs> and death for Lester. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't go on. No, you can't. Which is why I pretty much hit no right here. 
All right. I'm Mark Aru. And uh, this has been Z Swift. Join us next time for uh, pro wrestling for the NES. That'll be fun. Oh, God, could this get any worse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you then, folks. Good night.